Director of the American Homeland Security Committee. And that is because Eli Lilly and Company is one of the largest political contributors to the Republican Party. And all of these companies, all of them, they have a hundred thousand dollar executive walking around in Washington and saying, Hi, come to my barbecue this weekend. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the highest form of corruption. It's called lobbying. It's approved by your government. Well, I don't know which one I have. <laughs> All of them the same. So who are we dealing with? What are we doing? What are we setting our children open for? Now here's the, here's the good news, not, not for them. Sales of pharmaceuticals were dipping because when you look at the logistics of the whole thing, the baby boomers are now us. Not all, not, not all, but uh, yeah. Now we, the baby boomers, have gone into the uh, long-term treatment. You know me. You know uh, I got a pharmacy that's about uh, 20 kilometers away from where I live for my medication with special delivery. You know Morning. why? I am one of their best customers. Now the baby boomers are going to die out in a while, then the pharma has, uh, uh, companies have to find a new consumer. That is why they have turned their attention to the children. Have you guys heard of ADHS or ADHD? Yeah? Do you know what it is? What is it? Oh yeah? Well, it's funny, but all these years I've been in medicine, nobody can come and tell me up till now what ADHD is. Yeah, syndrome makes it a sickness. Since they can't prove that this is a sickness, they change the S to D, calling it disorder. And when it comes to that kind of disorder, for example, how do they measure serotonin in the brain of a child? Do you know how to do it, doctor? <laughs> With a VG board, that's, that's one way of doing it. Yeah, yeah, right. But I don't think the, 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 the pharma industry even knows about Ouija boards. What I'm saying is, they get the psychiatrists to sit down, you know, with their little bow ties. Psychiatrists, these are mad people. They might... <laughs> they sit every year, a few of them selected from around the world, and they sit in a room and they make up what they called the Bible for psychiatry, the DSM. If this Bible was so good and so needed and does an exact job, why did they change this, the rules in this uh, uh, Bible during the last few years so many thousands of times? So they're targeting the children they're calling these new fancy diseases, they're targeting them with these drugs. Stratera, Prozac, Ritalin, Paxil, Zoloft. In 2007, they had a report from the UK, or it's a European report, 2000. where 157 people were either killed or serious side effects with this new drug Stratera. Among them was a three-year-old German girl. I, 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 I find it difficult to even think or imagine that such a thing can happen. Now, my problem with these people is not revenge like some of the press people have been writing about in, in, uh, in Germany, out for revenge. No, no, I don't care about revenge. What I care about is that stop killing our children. Because when the politicians around the world... <laughs> oh.
when the politicians and all the other idiots like the psychiatrist for example they talk about we have to save the world the environment the gases the Silly. green everything else all these people with the power in their hands to do something is not doing a goddamn thing they still try to manipulate and now they fix their eyes on the kids i don't know about you guys in here but that's not going to happen to my kid never never the other thing that is very very significant when Volvo or Mercedes or Audi they bring a series of cars on the market and something went wrong the computer system maybe didn't, doesn't function well the brake system something what do they do they bring them all in they fix the problem and then they go back and sell it when a pharmaceutical company brings a drug that's killing people what happens? The stupid politicians and the authorities, they say, ah, okay, uh, why don't you guys go back and take a look and see what is it that's wrong and, and see if you can fix the problem and still sell the drug. These companies still keep on selling the drugs. And I'm not talking about milliarden pro yard. That's a lot of money. Now, the company I worked for, this uh, uh, Lily, they said to me and all my, uh, uh, my uh, uh, comrades and, awesome. and, and, and workers, oh, we work for the betterment of the human race. We work towards getting, getting their wallets empty. But they claim that they give one million dollars a day to research. That's $365 million a year. Now I have been with them, uh, that company, I was with them for 10 years. So you take 365 and multiply it by 10, that's over $3 billion. And they couldn't even bring out a better aspirin than they have. So they're bringing SSRIs. They are called SSRIs. When they told me that this new uh, a group of drugs was coming, they said, if we give it away, we will make money. That's how cheap it is to make. And Prozac, the drug that I bribed the Swedish government with to register, is the first ever blockbuster of the pharmaceutical industry. That is $1 billion a year. I have a lot more, but right now, fortunately for me, that has become my insurance. Plus, I have to save a little bit for my next book. It's all coming. Hopefully, the book will be finished uh, by the end of this year, early next year. In the meantime, I will continue to speak wherever I'm invited because I can write a hundred books if my message doesn't get to the people to the consumers nothing is gonna happen we have to get out of the grip of these people public outcry public outcry brought the Berlin Wall down public outcry can clean the pharma industry just get some control put some transparency into the business and when your politicians stop filling their pockets and start to do something well I, that's difficult that's difficult to get politicians to do anything because they don't have anything to think with and you journalists you journalists out there maybe there are some journalists out there and maybe there are good ones out there but Stop thinking of writing your articles that somebody's going to buy or you're not going to get the Pulitzer Prize anyways. Start to write the truth. The truth is the only weapon.
And I, I know because people all around, at least all around where I have been during the last year, 